1997, number 87. So we look at this problem. We're given the acceleration. Bam. So I just copied the acceleration. And they say when t equals 0, velocity is negative 2. So I just wrote that down. They want to know when the velocity will be 0. So we need the velocity function, right? So we should know that the integral of the acceleration gives you velocity. So I'm going to integrate that. So my velocity will be t squared over 2 minus cos t plus c. Don't forget your plus c on an indefinite integral. But we're going to take care of that because when t is 0, v is negative 2. So I'm going to put a negative 2 for v, 0 for t, and simplify this. Well, that's 0. So I get negative 2 equals, and the cosine of 0 is 1. I'm going to add 1 to both sides, and so my c is negative 1. Thus, I do have my velocity. It's going to be t squared over 2 minus cos t minus 1. I want to know when the velocity will be 0. So I'm going to have to graph this function and find where it crosses the x-axis. So let me, I kind of already punched this in, except that should be a minus. So there's my function. And on my windows, I went from 0 to 4, because if you look at this, the answers all lie between 0 and 4. Um, for my y values, let's go ahead and look at, um, let's make it fit, so we'll do zoom 0. I messed up somewhere here. Oh yeah, that shouldn't be there. Let's try this again. Hey, I thought I got rid of that. Try it again. What's going on? Why does it keep putting that there? Let's try it again. Let's zoom zero. There we go. That's much better. Now we see when the velocity equals zero. So that's going to calculate the zero. I move it to the left of that point. I move it to the right of that point. And then I guess we have 1.478. 1.478. 1.478. There we go. The answer is B.